Hello everyone, today in this video I'm going to teach you a nice little trick uh, to remember all those conditions where we can find right to left sunting of the heart. So this is a trick which I learned from first aid USM list step 1 2019 so you can go and check out in the book. For now let's get directly into the point. Directly to the point. So the trick here is to remember 5 T's. So here write 1 T. 1 T means 1 vessel which vessel? It's truncus arteriosus. So if you remember truncus arteriosus, it is a part of primitive heart tube which later on gives rise to aorta and uh, pulmonary trunk. So let me just draw a rough sketch of primitive heart tube. Here we have sinus venosus. This is primitive atrium, primitive ventricle and then we have um, bulbous cordis and here we have truncus arteriosus so this is the structure which later on gives rise to aorta and pulmonary trunk by the formation of aortico pulmonary septum but if uh, if there is a congenital defect and if there is failure of formation of aortico pulmonary septum then there is uh, you know persistence of truncus arteriosus which now later on gives rise to right to left shunting of the heart so actually this should be a persistent truncus arteriosus so this is one condition and in number two we have 2t means two vessel so here is transposition of two vessels so here I'm drawing a normal structure of the heart normally heart is divided into four chambers right atrium right ventricle left ventricle and left atrium and blood from left ventricle flows out through aorta this I'm drawing here is aorta and blood from right ventricle flows out through pulmonary trunk all right so this is pulmonary artery so this is a uh, in normal case however as i mentioned earlier that uh, these two great vessels pulmonary trunk and the aorta are formed from truncus arteriosus by the formation of aortico pulmonary septum this aortico pulmonary septum undergoes spiralization or twisting you know which later on gives rise to uh, this normal structure of the heart where the aorta is coming from the left ventricle and pulmonary trunk is arising from the right ventricle but if there is uh, you know, uh, failure to uh, failure of this aortico pulmonary septum to spiral then in that condition the what we find is that the aorta is now not arising from the left ventricle but it's rather arising from the right ventricle and the pulmonary trunk is arising from the left ventricle so there is transposition of these two great vessels so this is one of this is one of the condition where we can find right to left sunting of the heart and in number three I'll write 3t 3t means tri right tri usually refers to three tri cuspid atresia okay so this is the heart this is right atrium and right ventricle you know the valve which prevents the backflow of blood from right atrium to right ventricle is the tricuspid valve so this is the valve which prevents the backflow of blood from right ventricle to the right atrium but if there is you know a condition where there is absence of tricuspid valve or there is hyperplastic right ventricular then the blood cannot go, flow from right atrium to right ventricles and this will later on lead to right to left shunting of the heart so this is another and in number four 40 means tetra so this is tetralogy of fallow
So tetralogy of Fowler is a congenital uh, defect where which is caused by anterior superior displacement of the infundibular septum. This uh, is the most common cause of cyanosis in children and it is characterized by four main features so which are um, number one we have pulmonary stenosis in number two we have right ventricular hypertrophy and in number three overriding aorta and in number four we have ventricular septal defect so these are the four features of tetralogy of fellow out of which pulmonary stenosis is the major factor which determines the prognosis all right <coughs> so this is another condition and at last we have 5t 5t so here right t a p v r as you can see here there are five letters so 5t <coughs> so t a p v r means total anomalous pulmonary <coughs> venous return so in this condition the pulmonary veins drain into the right ventricle right sorry right heart circulation through superior vena cava or coronary sinus <coughs> so normally this is left atrium left ventricle the pulmonary veins these are the pulmonary veins four of them they drain into the left atrium directly but in this condition there is a defect and now they will drain into the superior vena cava so the <coughs> so these pulmonary veins will now drain into superior vena cava which will later drain into right atrium so there is increase in the pressure in the right side of the heart which will you know lead to right right to left shunting of the heart later on so yeah so these are the five uh, conditions where we can find <coughs> right to left shunting of the heart thank you